good? All right, I just got I just got the okay from Christine. Hey guys, welcome, welcome to class. Um, hopefully you can take advantage of this, the latter part of this beautiful day. Um, and practice outside if, uh, if you have the space. All right. Everyone, let's come into a nice easy seat, Shankasana. Cross your legs, maybe sit on a block if you, <clears throat> we're gonna be here for about 40 breaths, so find a way to make it comfortable on your lower back, your spine. And just close your eyes and just start to settle in. Start to cultivate your ujjayi breath in through the nose, out through the nose. And just notice, just notice. And how does that feel? 4.30, Friday afternoon, six, what are we, six or seven weeks into this, this, this lockdown? Just notice what, what comes up. Notice how every day, or well, if there's another challenge, maybe, maybe unexpected joy, Christine put some some cool questions out this week. What kind of, what shows up as unexpected joy through this lockdown? What shows up as no longer serving you through, through this crisis? Maybe, maybe just focus on those two things as you start to settle into your mat. Eyes are still closed. Long inhale through the nose, long exhale through the nose. What's up, Jackie? And then from here, just very softly, keep the eyes closed and just start to roll forward and make just big circles with the upper body. Right? Start to move with your breath, right? So this simple movement, we're just going to attach a breath to it. So we start to inhale forward, maybe exhale as you come back. And it's okay if you're doing the opposite. Try to use little to no effort. No right, no wrong. And maybe you find simple simple movement like this gives you unexpected joy. Right? Just simply moving, breathing. And for me, it's just beautiful right now to be outside. I can smell the grass. Just start to turn on different receptors in your body. And then slowly start to reverse that action, right? Opposite direction. Not a lot of effort, right? Sometimes we turn this into a cat and cow. Very, very soft. Very soft. Eyes are still closed. And then start to increase the length of the breath to increase the length of the movement, right? So longer inhales, longer exhales. This practice will start off very very soft, very subtle movements, and then we'll start to work into flowing, moving, breathing. Start to come back to center, come into a nice neutral, a neutral place. And just allow your shoulders to relax. Soften your jaw, take all the tension away from your jaw, your eyes. And just notice your breath now. Try to even out your inhales and exhales, right? So maybe three or four second inhale, three, four, maybe even five second on the, on the exhale. And very slowly from here, let's come into a table. I'll be using blocks just because I'm still recovering. My shoulder's still recovering. So I'll be using blocks, I'll be modifying, I'll be skipping lots of chaturanga, probably all of them. Um, again, if you if you like practicing with blocks, I always encourage people to bring the earth a little closer to you. It gives you a little more ease in your practice. Start to come into a nice, easy table. And then step back. Step back to plank pose. And then start to, just like we were doing downward facing dog, start to pedal into your feet. Keep pushing the earth away from you with your hands. And then open the space between the shoulder blades. And start to come into neutral, and we're simply making circles now with our, our bones. Shift forward, just like we did in our seat. Very soft, just easing our way into the wrists, hands, strength of the upper body. About five, four, three, two, and then one. Let's reverse direction. Ten, 
nine. Try to shift forward a little further. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And then one. Come into a neutral plank. Pause and center. And be here for five breaths. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Imagine if this plank can offer you unexpected joy. I know you all hate this pose, right? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna bring that right into chair pose later. You already know. You already know what it is. Three more breaths, just try. Close the eyes. This can't be any more uncomfortable than the past six weeks, right? For two. And then one, lower to your knees. Drop your belly, lift your chin. We'll come into cow posture. Lower your knees. Push the earth away. Start to wrap your triceps back, right? Almost as if you're screwing your hands into the earth. Squeeze the floor with your fingers. And then on an exhale, round your upper back. Draw your navel to your spine, chin to your chest. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift your chin. Drop your belly, smile. Hello. Exhale, round. <sighs> Push the earth away so much that your knees just float off the earth. And then inhale, come back into your cow posture. Exhale, cat. Push the earth away, knees hover. Inhale, lift your chin, drop your belly. Exhale, round. Push, 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 push. Knees hover an inch or two. Inhale, lift. We'll do that one more time. Exhale, round into your cat posture. And then come into a neutral, neutral table. Okay. Start to lower yourself all the way down to your belly. Keep your hands right underneath your shoulders and then walk them back, maybe a half a handprint or a whole handprint. Inhale, lift your chin, lift your chest, tops of the feet pressing into the earth, and then just lift your hands. Three, two, one. Hands to the earth, lower your forehead to the earth. Maybe even windshield wiper your feet. Do it again. Inhale. Traction your hands back toward your feet as you lift your chest. Lift your heart. Lift your hands. For three, two, one. And then lower slowly. Again, maybe windshield wiper the feet back and forth. Take this one more time, adding on. Lift the heart, lift the hands. Reach the arms either out to the side or out in front of you. For five, four, three, two, and one. Hands back to the earth, come back to your table. Step back to plank. Pause. Drop your hips and lift your heart over your right shoulder, Go over your left shoulder, come back to center, take it right back to downward facing dog, first down dog on the crown, start to pedal out the feet, a big bend in the knees, belly sits on top of the thighs, just try. I want to wave forward. I want to do this five times. I want to wave forward slowly. Drop your hips, lift your heart. Up dog. Toes are tucked. Exhale, down dog. With breath. Slowly wave forward. Drop your hips, lift your heart. Mm. Back to down dog. Slowly wave yourself forward. Drop your hips, lift your heart, close your eyes, and then exhale down dog. You know I suck at counting. We'll do one more. I don't know if that's four or five. Wave yourself forward. Push the earth away as you drop your hips, lift your heart. Downward facing dog. From down dog, walk your hands back toward your feet. Hands back toward your feet. This deep forward fold. Grab opposite elbows, a little just sway side to side. Let the head 
Allow the head to remain heavy, heavy, heavy. All the tension falling away from the shoulders, right? So. And from here, maybe play with lifting the heels. We did this in our last practice last Saturday. Lifting and lowering the heels, maybe bending into one knee and then the other. Just find some playful movements in this ragdoll before we move on. And then very slowly now, start to walk your hands forward. Come, let's come back to plank pose. Just like we did, we're gonna drop the hips, lift the heart. On an exhale, we're gonna bring the right knee to the nose as you round your upper back. So as you push the earth away, pull your knee toward your nose. Step back to plank pose, drop your hips, lift your heart. Take it right over to the left side. Left knee to nose. Plank pose, drop your hips, lift your heart. Right side, get a little closer to the forehead or the nose. Back to plank, lower your hips. Left side, inhale back, drop the hips. Exhale, tuck the right knee to the nose. Is that Alana, how many are we doing? <laughs> Keep going, left side. I can hear you guys, you know. Right side. Drop the hips. Left side. One more each side. Right side. Lower. Left side. Back to plank. Take your right leg up to the sky. Step your foot between your hands. Drop your back knee. Anjaneyasana, reach up. So options here hands at the lower back, interlace the fingers, press your palms together. I'll take this option, this is a stretch that I do in physical therapy for my shoulder, so I'll take advantage of this. Just lifting the heart to the sky. Push into the right foot and lift your right heel, and then pulse into that for five, for four, for three, for two, one more, full expression. Lift, let's lift your heart. Go ahead. Half splits, hands to the earth, frame your front foot, maybe step the right foot forward slightly, pull your toes toward your nose. And again, pulsing into that right side. So maybe massaging some length and some depth into the shape. Breathing early in the practice but if you have full splits in your practice there's plenty of time here just a few more breaths good so we're going to can make our way into side plank from here i'll do this so that i'm facing you so i'm simply sweeping my right leg out to the right so that I can, you, can, you guys can see this. I'm gonna sweep my right leg back, coming into side plank. So this is a nice variation of side plank with the left knee down, right leg is lifted, right? Some of you might start to lift the left fingertips off the earth and balance on your left shin. And then just be for five, for four, three, for two, and then one. Step your right foot down. And then everyone, get your left leg and extend it out in front of you. Maybe leave it lifted or drop it to the earth, right? And then just push the earth away. For five. For four. For three. Two. And then one. Right hand to the earth, step back to plank pose. Downward facing dog. Wave yourself forward. Drop your hips, lift your heart. Good. Starting with the left knee. As you push the earth away, draw your left knee to your nose. Back to plank, drop your hips. Take that over to the right side. Right knee draws in. And then lower slowly. Left side, left knee. Send that back to plank, drop your hips. Right side. 
Move slowly with breath, eyes closed. Left side. Right side. Drop your hips. Downward facing dog. Kick your left leg up to the sky. Step your foot between your hands. Drop your back knee. Anjaneyasana, reach your arms up. Or behind you, hands at heart center. Maybe arms in goal post, lifting your heart, lift your chin, right? Let me take that stretch behind my back. Just breathe here. Maybe lift the left heel, pushing into the ball of the left foot, open up the right hip flexor, right? So right hip opening. And let's start to make our way into Arahana Manasana half splits. Lengthen your left leg, maybe step that left foot forward. Hands on blocks, hands on the earth. And then again, just drawing your left hip back. Just noticing what's available, the length, the space. If this is new for you, inhale as you release tension from the pose. It may be a soft bend in the left knee. And then the exhale, as you empty, find more length. Just another couple of breaths here. And then from here, we'll make our way into that side plank. And I'll simply sweep my left leg to the left so I can face you. Some of you might be facing the left side of your room or the right side of your room. Sweep your left leg back. So you're using your right knee as a little bit of a kickstand. And start to lift the left leg, lift the left arm to the sky. And again, some of you might lift your right fingertips off the earth. Balancing on your right shin. A lot more core activation like this. For five. For four. For three. For two. And one. Now, drop the left foot flat, push the right hand into the earth, and then extend the right leg out in front of you. Heel can be lifted, or just let it sit on the earth, right? Push the earth away. Push it away. For five. For four. For three. For two. And then one. Good. Let's step back. Plank pose, downward facing dog. Just breathe. Holly from, from Down Dog. Holly from Spain logged in. Hey, Holly, all the way from Spain. <laughs> we miss you. Very slowly, bring your feet to your hands. Feet to hands. Let's come into a halfway lift, right? So just, I'm using blocks here just to modify for me. Just moving into this shape. Maybe lift the heels, lower the heels, round the upper back, tuck your chin to your chest. These are just variations that allow you to be a little bit more playful, all right? A little less rigid. Take a breath in, and then exhale, just drop in. Let's inhale, rise up to standing slowly, 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 slowly. Reach your arms up to the sky, look up. And then exhale, draw your hands into your heart center. Inhale, reach the sky. Exhale, fold over your thighs. Inhale, push the earth away, lengthen everything. And then let's take three breaths, just being playful. Lifting the heels, tuck the chin, round the upper back. Take a breath in, and then exhale, fold. Inhale, let's rise up. Exhale, draw your hands to your heart center. Adding on, inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach out in front, reach out in front, hands to the earth. Push the earth away, halfway lift. Plank pose. Chaturanga, if you choose, I'll just be dropping my hips, lifting my heart up dog. And let's meet up and down or facing dog. Three breaths here. Another big breath in. Empty, feet to hands. 
Halfway lift, inhale. Fold, exhale. Ah. Inhale, let's rise up, sweep up, look up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, reach out in front. Fold in half. Inhale, lengthen everything. Exhale, plank pose. Chaturanga if you choose. And moving up and down dog. From downward facing dog. Wave your cell phone with the plank. Lower to your forearms. And we're going to drop the right hip down toward the earth. It doesn't have to touch. Come back to center. Take it to the left. And we'll do this for eight. For seven. For six. For five. Four. Three. For two. And then one. Pause here. Pause for five. Four. Tracking, tracking your elbows toward your feet and your toes toward your elbows. For three. For two. And then one. Nice. Come back to plank pose. Walk your feet to your hands. Forward fold. You'll toe your feet together to touch. Here it comes, guys. Here it comes. Toes touch, heels apart, sit low. So you're already anticipating, right? That sucker's gonna hold us in this pose for a long time. You already know. Get out of your heads, right? You got enough of that shit going on the past six weeks. Reach your arms forward, out in front of you. Reach, sit back. This has been a good lesson in anticipation, right? Can't anticipate anything, right? Such a great practice for being present, enjoying what is in the moment because you don't know tomorrow. Reach your arms up toward the sky, sit a little lower. A little deeper. I can see you. Don't see you. You can't cheat me. Go a little lower, a little deeper. For five, these are breaths. For four, our neighbors here. How long we should hold them here for? Another ten breaths? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Antonetta would never do that to you. For three. For two. And then one. Reach your arms up to the sky. Reach your right leg up. We're gonna come into eagle. Right leg over left. Right arm under left. If you have access, I don't have access to that right now. It's not comfortable, so I'm gonna bring my hands to my heart center. And then just sit. Breathe. Keep the shape of your arms wherever they are and make your way into warrior three. Balancing on your left foot, hands can reach behind, right? Find a shape that's comfortable for you. And just be for three. For two. For one, bend into your left knee, drop the right foot flat, reach your arms to the sky for a moment. Good. Bring your hands to heart center. We're coming into humble warrior. You have lots of options for the hand position. I'll keep my hands at my heart. Some of you might reach the arms behind you. Clasping your fingers together, palms touching. Drop your left shoulder to the inside, inside of the left knee. And pause. For five. For four. Drop in a little deep, deeper. For three. For two. Stay with me here. Warrior one, reach your arms up to the sky, fullest expression. Reach up. Get a little taller, a little taller through the spine, a little longer, crown of the head reaching to the sky. Take a big breath in. Exhale, frame your front foot. Step back to plank pose. Choose your path to downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, wave yourself forward, plank pose. Good. Lower to your forearms. And then we'll start the left, left hip this time. Left hip drop. Over to the right. Two. Three. 
Is it to the right four? Left five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Back to center, pause. Five, four, three, two, and then one. Walk back up to plank pose. Downward facing dog. Tiptoe your feet to your hands. Heels, toes together to touch, heels separated slightly. Fingertips stay on the earth for a moment. This time reach the arms behind you. Sit in your heels, lift all 10 toes. And start to reach the arms either forward or up. Sit a little deeper. Christine's flashing 10 at me, so we're 10 breaths. Ready? Nine. A little deeper, a little deeper. Eight. What's happening in your mind right now, right? Get rid of it, let it go, let it go. Sit a little deeper. Bring on the sensation, right? We talk about communicating with this language of sensation. For five. For four. For three. For two. Inhale, reach up. Good. Left leg over right eagle. Left arm under right arm. Four hands at heart center. And just breathe. Then be in the shape. Don't anticipate the next shape. Just be here. Slow, graceful transition. Left leg reaches back. Eagle arms or any arm position that suits you for five, for four, for three, for two. And then very slowly bend into that right knee. Left foot drops flat. Reach your arms up to the sky just to give the arms a break. And let's take humble warrior. Choose the arm position that suits you on this side. Right shoulder falls to the inside of right thigh. Drop the head. Feel the, the length in your neck, right? As you release the tension in the head, feel the shoulders melt. Trust your core, trust your body. Drop in a little deeper. Maybe the forearms touch the earth. And then very slowly, let's make our way up to Warrior One. Fullest expression of Warrior One. Reaching up, dropping in. The right knee pushes toward the right heel. Pull the left kneecap up into the quadricep. And then magnetize your feet in toward each other as you draw the right heel back. Take a big breath in. And then exhale, frame your front foot, step back to plank pose, and then choose your path to downward facing dog. We'll all meet up in down dog. just breathe here. Drop to your knees. Come into hero's pose or child's pose if you prefer. Just to, so we're going to start to flow a little bit more now. Just before we do, just check in. Just check in. Yeah, we're not even halfway through the warm-up. We haven't even started. Antonette's drinking a glass of wine. She's complaining. Imagine. She's not even moving. Breathe. right leg up to the sky. Take your right knee to your right tricep, touch. Take it back up high. Right knee, right tricep, touch. Take it back up to the sky. Right knee, right tricep, touch. Take it back up high. Step your right foot between your hands. Pause. Good. Keep that back heel lifted, reach your arms behind you. 
Open your heart. Wrap your shoulder blades around your spine. And then very slowly come up into Crescent Warrior. Take a big breath in. On the exhale, reach the arms back. Come back into Lightning Bolt Pose. Good. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach back. Inhale, reach up high. Stay with me. Exhale, Lightning Bolt Pose. Drop your left foot flat. Sweep your left arm to the sky, warrior two. And just breathe here. Reach the right fingertips forward, as far forward as you can. Left fingertips reach back. Broaden through your heart. Last week we used the strap, pushing, pushing the strap, right? Opening up the chest, opening the upper back. And then pulsing to the right knee. Five, four. Three, for two, and then one. Stay with me. Cartwheel your hands to the earth. Lift your left heel. Use your fingertips on the earth or blocks. You want to take this right into a standing leg raise. You want to bring the left knee up toward the nose as we make our way to standing. Lift your left knee up. Grab onto your left big toe with your right piece fingers. And extend for three, for two, for one. Stay with me. Warrior three. Take your left leg back. Warrior three. Reach back. It's not as easy as outside it is on a nice hard mm -mm. surface in the studio, huh? For three. For the old days, yoga in the park. For two. Standing split. Drop. Bend into the right knee, drop the left foot flat, warrior one. Take a big breath in. On the exhale, take your left hand inside of your right foot for a twist. Breathe. For three. For two. And then one. Frame your front foot. Stay with me here. Walk your left foot forward slightly. Take your right arm back up to the sky. Walk your left fingertips forward and lift your left heel. For five. For four. For three. For two. Step your left foot forward to meet your right foot. Inhale, halfway lift. Fold on an exhale. Rise up to standing, reach up. And then exhale, reach out. Fold in half. Halfway lift, inhale, plank pose, vinyasa. Let's meet up in downward facing dog. From down dog, take your left leg up to the sky. Left knee, left tricep touch. Take it back up high. For two. For three. Take it back up high. Step your left foot between your hands. Keep that back heel lifted. Reach your arms back behind you. Shoulder blades wrapping around the spine. Open your heart. On an inhale, lift your arms to the sky. Crescent warrior, reach up. Take a breath in. Exhale, reach the arms back. With breath now, inhale up. Exhale, reach back. One more, inhale, reach up to the sky. Breathe here, breathe, breathe, breathe. Good. Hands to the earth, slowly, slowly, slowly. Drop your right foot flat. Sweep your right arm up and back, warrior two. And breathe. Again, expanding through the chest, expanding through the upper back, relax the shoulders. Push into the left heel ball of the left foot. Breathe. For three. For two. 
and then well, let's cartwheel the hands to the earth, pivot onto the ball of the right foot. Stay with me here. This is where we bring the right knee up to the nose, slowly, make your way to standing. And then grab onto your right big toe with your left two fingers. You can stay right here. This is a beautiful shape, right? If you have it available to you, extend. Long spine for three. For two. Start to draw the right heel back. Warrior three. Any arm position that suits you. If you like eagle arms, take that. And we'll be here for five. For four. For three. For two. And hands to the earth, standing split. Slowly, we're gonna bend into the left knee. Drop your right foot flat, warrior one. Put your arms up to the sky. Take a big breath here. Exhale, right hand to the inside of the left foot for that twist. Right heel lifts, pivot onto the ball of the right foot. Three. For three. For two. And one. Good. Just take the left hand to the earth. Walk your right foot forward slightly. Left arm reaches back up to the sky. Right foot lifts off the earth. Devolve half moon. For five. For four. For three. For two. And then one. Step your right foot forward to meet your left foot. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, we're not here long, don't panic. Reach up, hands to your heart. Take a twist to your right. Try to bring your, the center of your chest to your thumbs. For five, for four, for three, for two. Breath in, exhale, fold. Separate your feet hip width distance. And then take your hands, palms of the hands, underneath the balls of the feet. And then start to massage your, the crease in your wrist creases with your toes. Really press in. Take a big breath here. And then exhale, release hands from the feet. Heel toe your feet together to touch. Let's take it to the top this time. Inhale, rise up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart center. And then start to sit into your chair. Big twist to the left. Three more breaths here. Try to bring the center of your chest to your thumbs. Big breath in. And then exhale, forward fold. Separate your feet hip width distance and then just come right into Malasana. Nice deep squat. Close the eyes, just, just settle in. I'm gonna take one more twist here. Bring your fingertips to the earth, lift your hips up high, and then take your right hand to the center of your mat, right in front of your toes, and take your left arm, reach up to the sky. And then a big bend in the right knee, lengthen the left leg. Maybe even lift the left heel to play here. Some of you might have the half bind, reaching your left fingers to the right hip crease. And then slowly fold in half. Left fingertips in front of the toes, right arm reaches the sky, or reach the right arm at the lower back. Lengthening the right leg, bending into the left knee. Take your eyes up to the sky. Look up. And then slowly come back to center, fold in half, come back into Malasana. This time, let's take it all the way down to your mat. So thumb to the earth, turn to the sideways. 
and let's come into Navasana. <laughs> Look at those faces. Reach your arms out in front of you. <sighs> reaching, reaching, reaching. Wiggle your toes. Maybe lengthen your left leg. Maybe lengthen the right leg. Maybe flutter your feet. <sighs> Did that just give someone unexpected joy? A little waving of the feet, right? <laughs> Let's take this to half court. Here we go. You knew it was coming. Don't complain. Lengthen. Reach the toes forward. Reach the feet forward. Arms reaching forward. Now reach the arms overhead. Good. And let's pull ourselves back up to Navasana. Good. Inhale. Reach the arms overhead. Exhale. Come back up. Good. Again. Inhale. Reach. Exhale. Boy, Jackie's going uphill in our backyard here. Look at that. <laughs> Reach back. Reach back. Okay. One more. Ready? Here we go. Reach. And then just let it go. Relax. Take your left leg up to the sky. Cradle your head in your hands. And bring your right elbow to the inside of the left thigh. Just hold it there. Just hold it. Hold it. Take a break. Two. I don't know what let's switch. Let's take the right leg up. Left elbow to the inside of the right thigh. Make your connection. Three, two, one. And let's just switch. Make your connection. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your knees into your chest. And rock side to side. Lower your heels to the earth, feet to the earth. Let's come right into bridge pose. Drop your hips, lift your hips, drop your hands into the earth. And then walk your shoulder blades in towards the spine. As you lift the heels, breathe. Push the earth away from you, get more space on top of the thighs. Good, and let's slowly lower. Bring your feet together to touch. Soles of the feet touch, knees wide. Soften your lower back. Let it soften. Good. Let's take that again. Bridge your wheel. So if you've got wheel in your practice and your body's warm enough, go for it. If not, we'll take another bridge pose. Lift your hips, lift your hips, lift your heels. Open your heart. Lift your chin away from your chest. Slowly, take your time, lower out of the shape. Your chest. Breathe. We'll take one more heart opener. So wheel, if you're practicing wheel. If not, let's take another bridge pose. Adding on to bridge pose here. Press the palms into the earth and then lift right away. Lift the right heel. And then lift and lower. Lift and lower. Five. Four, three, two, one. Stay with me. Cross your right ankle over your left eye and lift it. Five, four, three, two, and then lower back down to the earth. So take that right over to the other side. Lift your hips. Left heel lift. Press it up to the sky and then pull. Five, four, three, two. And then one. Cross the left ankle over the right thigh. Lift. And then slowly lower. Knees deep to the earth. This time, take your knees together to touch. Feet wide. And allow that to sink. Make a happy baby. Let's grab the edges of the feet. Try to get your shoulder blades to sit on the earth. Back of the head, settling into the earth. Do a little rock side to side.
start to lower your feet to the earth. Take your hands behind your knees and let those rock up to an easy seat. And then from that seat, keep the right shin facing forward. We'll come into half pigeon. Sweep the left leg back. So I'll give you the, the option here of half pigeon with the left leg reaching back behind you or that deer pose where the left knee is bent right foot comes up toward the left front corner of your mat and then start to internally rotate so the right shoulder sits on the inside of the right thigh and the back of the knee. And just drop it. This is where you let go of effort, right? You let the gravity start to, to take over here. You surrender in this shape and you feel that sense of ease start to start to deepen it a bit right? finding another edge by lengthening your left leg maybe get the right glute to drop a little bit closer maybe a millimeter closer to the earth more breaths here. Start to walk the hands back toward your right shin. Let's take the left foot, sweep it around, sweep it forward, and then take your left foot to the outside of your right thigh. Both knees are bent. And then start to hug your right shin, your left shin with your right arm and take your left finger to the bottom. And as you do this, start to twist from the belly. So you're pulling your belly out to the left. Left shoulder reaches back. Look over your left shoulder. And then lengthen the spine. Try to keep your left foot flat on the earth if you can. And then slowly start to release that. Keep your left shin facing forward on your mat. Take your right leg back. We'll take half pigeon on this side. Again, any any variation that's falling to you this evening. So maybe left foot is forward to the right front corner of the mat, right knee is bent, and you start to snuggle your right, your left shoulder to the inside of your left thigh. Please take it. If you want the bind of the right foot, take that. And then just breathing into this shape, right? No anticipation of what it should be like, what it should look like, right? what does it feel like? A couple of breaths here before we move on. And then start to sweep the right foot forward, right foot sweeping over the left thigh. And keep that, try to keep the right foot flat. Pull that right shin in and then grab on with the left forearm, right fingertip reach behind, and then start to twist so that the, the right side of your chest is opening. Feel that ringing out of the lower belly. But lengthen, right? So very, you see this all the time, like we start to crouch, we're getting lazy, we know Shavasana's around the corner, a little rosé, right? A little cocktail. Almost there, we're almost there. <laughs>
then slowly start to release. So extend both legs out in front of you and reach your arms up to the sky. Take your feet as wide as your mat, maybe even wider. And if you have a block available, take that block and set it up right between your knees and your thighs. So this is just bringing, for, for some of you, for me, I need a block here as just as a point of contact to the earth, right? So I know I can't bring my forehead to the earth, so I use the block to bring it a little closer. Reach your arms up. And then exhale, reach forward. Just imagining the forehead touching the block. Yeah, fingertips to the earth. And then start to settle in. Pull your toes toward your nose, right? Very active, pushing the hamstrings into the earth. Some of you might have, might have to make a pillow with your hands. Yeah. Now soften the legs, soften, maybe, maybe even a soft bend of the knees, and let the feet just fall whichever way they like to fall, out or in. So more of a yin posture now, just letting everything relax, gravity completely taking over right now. your hands back. Let me just do this one more time at a little more depth in the pose. Take your feet a little closer together. Now take your block, reach your hand, place it between your hands, reach your arms up to the sky, and then start to reach forward and take your block maybe to the front of your feet. You might require a big, a big bend in the knee, not just a soft bend, but a big bend in the knee. So this is heart reaching forward, lengthening through the spine, and then taking the knee to a mat twist, right? So maybe it's dropping one, the back of one knee into earth and the other. And notice as you just settle into this and you breathe and no more anticipation, you're not applying any extra effort where there's a softness, even to an un uncomfortable shape like this, right? So the back of the leg might be screaming at you a bit, but then for a second, everything subsides. Just being present, not pushing too hard. And then start to walk your hands back. Let's make our way out of that shape. And just to offset, to offset some of that folding, let's come into a reverse table. So hands back behind you, soles of the feet pressing into the earth, lift your hips. Drop your head back. And then slowly lower. Come onto your back, back. Bring the soles of the feet to the sky. Just come into a nice easy inversion. So if you've got headstand, handstand, shoulder stand in your practice, take that. If not, these legs up is nice. If you're in shoulder stand, you like to make your way into plow pose. Feel free. And then when you feel complete here, start to make your way back, bring your knees into your chest, and pull your right knee in toward your chest, extend your left leg out in front of you. And then we're gonna take a nice easy spinal twist. Take your right knee over to the left side of the room. And if you're enjoying your plow pose, stay there, right? Extend your right leg, pull the left knee into the chest, and then take your left knee over to the right side. Come back to center, give your knees a big hug into your chest. Curl yourself up into the tiniest little seed that you possibly can. Bring your forehead toward your knees. And then squeeze everything. Squeeze everything. Eyes, nose, finger, toes, belly, bum, arms, legs. Take a big breath in. And then like a slingshot, let it go. Shavasana. And just breathe.
and you start to bring your attention. If you were fortunate enough to get outside and practice this evening, listen to the sounds. If you're in your home, listen to the sounds. Bring all your awareness, all your attention to the sounds that you hear. Don't attach yourself, don't identify the sounds, just listen. Listen to the sounds. Take away all effort in your breath. Start to relax that ujjayi breath and just start with a very natural, spontaneous breath. Start to feel, feel your body melting to the floor, the earth, wherever you are. And again, paying attention to sounds, listening. Don't give the sounds any thought, just listen. slowly now start to add some movement back into your body here you wiggle your fingers and toes start to draw your knees in towards your chest and just roll off to one side 